So this is going to be the first part of the review for the final. I wanted to work out all the problems for you in case you have any um, problems that you can't just figure out for looking at the answer. So I'm going to talk it through. Um, I know I made this a really long review. It has 66 problems. So I'm just going to break up the answers into sections. So this first one, um, we'll go through questions 1 through 11. It's the first five pages. All right. Question number one says, a die is rolled 50 times with the following results. Compute the empirical probability that the die comes up a 5. All right, so when I look, I can see that the five happened six times. So I want to put six on top, the number of times that the five occurred, and we know the experiment was done 50 times, so that goes on the bottom. Um, you always want to reduce that fraction and pay attention to how I have the answers. So this time it's multiple choice, so I know my answer is supposed to be a fraction, not a decimal or percent. Saying that six and 50 are both even, I can reduce by two, so I make this three over 25 and I can see that is answer B. All right, very similar to do the next one, but this time a die is rolled 100 times with the following results. Compute the empirical probability that, that we get a two or a three. So this time I'm using both of these results, the two and the three, so that's 12 plus 28. And then I had 100 rolls this time. So I add together the 12 and the 28, that gives me 40. I divide by 100. Um, Really quick, you could just get rid of a set of zeros. So now I have four over 10. That I see, they're both even, so I can reduce to two over five, and that says that's C. Okay, so let's just keep moving that up. All right, so now we've moved on to one that um, this is called a histogram. So in this histogram, it says an employment agency requires 20 secretarial candidates to type the same manuscript. The number of errors found in each manuscript is summarized in the histogram. Find the empirical probability that a candidate has less than four errors in the type manuscript. All right, so less than four means um, it could be zero, one, two, or three. So I can see that five people had zero or one. And then when I look, it shows three people had two or three. So this five plus three, which is eight, goes over the 20 people that went into this test. Um, eight and 20 are both divisible by four, so this gives me two over five, which is A. Okay. Four says that Amboy Kennel Club has held an annual dog show for the last 42 years. During this time, the winner of Best of Show has been an Alaskan Malama 21 times, a Great Pyrenees 3 times, and a Siberian Husky 18 times. Determine the probability that the next winner of Best of Show is a Great Pyrenees. All right, so here this is empirical. We're looking at the past to predict the future. Um, so it's important they said 42 years, so that becomes our denominator. And then we go back, um, it says three times, so I put a three on top. Okay, um, I can reduce this. Um, so this goes in one time, this is 1 over 14, so this is D. Um, remember, you guys can use your calculator, so make sure you, you know how to use fractions in your calculator if you need to be able to reduce, or know that you could have gone 14, 42 divided by 3 to get 14 to uh, make this easier. Let's keep going. A bag contains 7 red marbles, 9 blue marbles, and 6 green marbles. What's the probability of choosing a blue? So blue goes on top, there's nine, and on the bottom, I need to add up the seven, the nine, and the six. Okay. So seven, nine, and six gives me 22. On the top, I have nine. Um, when I look at them, they have nothing in common. So that says I can just leave that alone, and my answer is C. Six says two fair, two fair six-sided dice are rolled. What's the probability the sum of the two numbers is four? So before we start looking at how many ways can I get four, let's look at how many ways I can roll two dice. So I have six choices for what I get on one, six choices for what I get on the other. So there's 36 things that can happen all together. That's going to be my denominator. Um, ways to get four, I could have one and three makes four. I can have three and one makes four. And I can have two plus two equals four. So when I look at this, this is three of the 36. Um, give me a 4. So I have 3 over 36, which is 1 over 12. Okay, So that is my D. 
Um, seven says find the probability the spinner lands on gray. Okay, so first start by counting. I have start here one, two, three, four, five, six outcomes. In gray, there are two of them. I again want to reduce, that makes it one over third, and that's A. Um, eight says a fair die is rolled. What's the probability of getting an odd number or a number less than three? Probably the easiest thing to do with this one is just to say we have six outcomes we can have because we rolled a dice, and we want to know the probability that we get an odd, so that's three, one, and five. I don't know why I did it out of order. Less than three means I could also pick up the two. So now when I look at it, I can see I have four out of my six numbers, which would reduce to two out of three. Number nine, one digit from the number um, 1,838,228 is written on each of seven cards. What's the probability of drawing a card that shows a one or a two? So let's look, I have a one, I have a two, and I have a two. So there are three numbers that are the ones or the twos, and I have a total of seven numbers all together, so I can see that is A, three over seven. Okay. 10, the distribution of BA degrees conferred by a local college is listed below by major. What's the probability a randomly selected degree is not math, round to the nearest thousandth? This number is important. This is my denominator, so it's 9,313. I have a lot of majors that are not math. I have English, chemistry, physics, liberal arts, business, engineering. So you could add up all those numbers, or you can think there are only 2,164 that are math. So the rest of them are something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's take my total and take the math majors out. So when I put 9313 minus 2164 in my calculator, I get um, 7,000. Oops, that's kind of an ugly 7, but let's still go with that 7,149. So, 7,149 of the students are not math majors. Um, I'm going to divide that number by 9,313, and it gives me 0.76763663637. I want you to see completely what I got. Um, easily, you can look at the answers that I have A, B, C, D, and see that D would be what we want. Um, well, weirdly, I said I would do numbers 1 through 11, which is weird, but let's do it. Because um, this goes on to another page, but let's go with it. Um, what are the odds in favor of spinning an A on the spinner? All right. Odds are one of those things students miss a lot, so I really want you to pay attention to odds and think odds and probability are different. That's why I didn't say find the probability. So with odds, I want to look at how many ways to get an A and compare it to how many ways not to get an A. So in my spinner, I see one, two, three things that are A's. And then the rest of them, one, two, three, four, five, are not A's. Okay. So that says C is my answer, and that's my odds of getting an A. All right, that's the end of our short first video, and just know that there's going to be um, five more.